Surprise! Guess what? Who can guess where we're at? I mean, you know we're in Hawaii, but we are in Maui. We planned this trip very last minute, and we last just wanted minute. to... Last minute was like two months ago. That's yeah, last minute okay. for us. Last minute. Yeah. Usually it's like a year in advance. So we're here. Well, and if it we is... take a gap in the time. <laughs> we can't take places. any gaps, babe. We can't take any gaps. Yeah. We love Hawaii so much, so it's just Jason and I. We're here just to celebrate us, be alone, have some time here in Hawaii. The kids are all home with grandpa, they're fine, being taken care of. So we just wanted to bring a little Maui back to you guys. We know you love our Hawaii videos. And you're actually not gonna get a full Hawaii vlog today. You'll have to stay tuned because today's video is a packing video. Go ahead and watch that and then come back very, very soon and we'll catch you up with everything we've done here. Also tomorrow, we are gonna go live at 12 o'clock Hawaii time. I will post a little picture with the time and the details for that and a link. So if you tomorrow? want, yeah, for tomorrow, for them, it'll be tomorrow. So make sure you come back tomorrow and we'll do it again the day after that. So just make sure your, your little bell notifications are turned on. You'll get notified of when we are going live and when our videos will come out of all of our adventures, adventures here in Hawaii. So and I guess you could leave questions on the earlier videos uh, if you have questions or you want us to talk about anything yeah. when we go live. Yeah. That'd be great. So we look forward to seeing you guys and we look forward to sharing our vacation with you. So mahalo and we'll see you guys soon. All right, so as you can see, we are going to Maui. <laughs> Surprise! So this is a fun thing that we've been keeping from you guys. It's just gonna be really, really fun. We planned this trip just a few months ago. It was kind of a last minute thing. Normally we plan obviously like a year in advance but this was kind of a spontaneous thing that Jason and I decided to do. We're just celebrating. We're celebrating our anniversary. We're celebrating the success at our business. It's been a long 19 years since we've opened our doors and we're successful with our business right now and we're just going to go and celebrate that. So what do we need to do? We need to do a packing video. <laughs> you gotta know how we're gonna get to Hawaii, right? Stick around and I'll show you how we packed for this trip. All right, as you can see here, we've got our suitcases. We are going to take one carry-on bag and one medium-sized bag, and then we have some carry-on bags that we're taking as well. Let me just kind of walk you through how I have packed this time. A few things are different, and a few things are the same. So let me just walk you through. Okay, this side, if you are if you are one of our regular followers, you know that we love packing cube, or I should say, I love them. We have a couple different brands. This is Trip, I believe. They have a YouTube channel, so Trip. They have a YouTube channel. If you want to check them out, it's a couple and they travel and they created these packing cubes so I have a few like this and then I also have these Eagle Creek ones that I got from REI and then these ones that I got from Amazon they're called the shack pack but you can search for any packing cubes on Amazon or go to your like REI or whatnot and you can find lots of different ones to choose from I absolutely love packing cube let me show you how I organize each one of these so in this one right here, I have shorts. So I am working out now. So I have workout shorts and I also have like regular shorts. Although with swimming and working out and being in swimsuits, I don't think I'm gonna be using shorts too often. So I have one pair of regular shorts here and I have one pair of regular shorts here and then I'm going to wear one on the plane. And then I have a sweatshirt in here as well. That is for Haleakala. It gets super cold. So I have a sweatshirt packed for that. All right, in this bag, I have all of my unmentioned I've got sports bras, regular bras, swim sport bras, and underwear. I also have just socks. I like to wear socks in hotels. I don't know, I'm kind of weird about my feet. I like to put lotion on them, put socks on, and not really touch the carpet. It's usually pretty clean. I just have a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> like my feet kind of covered up. So that's what's in this pack. And I like to be able to just take this whole thing and stick it in a drawer at the hotel. And then it's kind of separated from like all my other stuff. And that way the socks don't get lost. I just kind of keep them all bundled up right here. And then it's easy to unload when I get there. In this one, I have all of my swimsuits. I have a new swimsuit that I got, and you're gonna see more of a description of this swimsuit in tomorrow's video, along with like actually seeing it in Hawaii, so I won't unpack it here. But I do have my other swimsuit that I've had for a couple years now, and again, you'll see this in tomorrow's video. I got a new pair of swim shorts to just wear over like my swim bottoms in case we just kind of go from beach to lunch kind of a scenario. But I have all of my swimsuits. I have a bikini top that I wear just as a bra, 
lot under my old swimsuit. So that one is there. And then I also have some more swim shorts and a swim dress just to cover up to wear as we're kind of going out and about as well. I'll show you in a minute, but my makeup bag actually came with this little travel bag as well. And I think I can put, I can put my dirty laundry in this and then I probably will pack it into the packing cubes as well. But that way it'll be separate from the clean clothes. Okay, in this last bag, I have all of my shirts and one dress. I have a lot of tank tops this time because I'm just gonna wear tank tops more. If you understand my religion, you'll understand that I normally don't wear tank tops. Um, I am Mormon, if you didn't know that already. And so it's just not normal for me to wear tank tops, but I am going to kind of embrace that this trip and wear them a little bit more often. Obviously, I'm gonna be working out, so I'll be using them every morning or every evening when we go for walks or Jason goes for a run. Um, but then I also have some nicer t-shirts to wear when we go out to dinner or lunch. Again, that's just a tank top, tank top, there's more tank tops. Then I have a, a few shirts down here as well as one dress that I got for our last, not even last trip, two times ago, and then some shirts just down here. So. I have a lot of options to choose from. When you're in Hawaii, you end up kind of going through multiple different stages of clothing. <laughs> so you kind of have to have a lot of backups each day. My goal initially is to get up when you wake up and you're on the wrong time zone. I'm gonna try and get up then and go for my walk and kind of get the majority of my steps in for the day. I know with swimming and walking and sightseeing and all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna get my steps in. I'm not worried about it, but I wanna keep that motivation. And I also wanna just walk on the beach on the boardwalk, it's so fantastic in Maui and I finally have the motivation to do that so I'm gonna kind of keep going with that motivation even if I only do like 5,000 steps or two miles or something I still want to keep up with that motivation and I want to spend time with Jason doing it he'll start walking with me and stretch and then he'll run off and do his run and he'll come back to me and hopefully it'll all work out but then you know you then you got to change into a swimsuit and then you're gonna change into a cover-up for lunch and then you're gonna change again to go out to dinner and then you're gonna change again to maybe go walk down to the you know watch the sunset or whatever so you change your clothes quite often during the day and you kind of need to have like all of these options at, on hand. All right, on this side, the only thing that is new is my makeup bag and I'll show you that here in a second. If you haven't seen our packing videos to go to Hawaii before, we love these Dock and Bay towels. Absolutely love them. Look how small it is. I mean, this is my hand. That is the towel. And I actually have some uh, cleaning wipes <laughs> in there to go into my beach bag. That way we can wipe down like picnic benches or chairs or just whatever space that we're in um, in case it's dirty. So I have this towel here. I actually might get a third towel to sit on. And then we have these ones to dry us off if we need to. Then we also have our snorkel mask. We use full faced snorkel mask. And you know, some people are going to say that these aren't safe, but we have been using these now now for 10 years and we love them. This one is probably the oldest one that we have and this is one we got probably a year and a half or two ago. So this is our newest one, but we absolutely love snorkeling with these. We do not worry about having fins on, but I think our hotel will have fins if we want to use those. But I don't I don't necessarily like to deep dive when I snorkel, so I don't need to have and I don't go very far out as well. I just like to have my full face covered by the snorkel mask. I will be using this for like hiking or going on my walks in the morning. I can put my camera and my phone and maybe even like a little water bottle but and then for hiking obviously I will use this as well but and it's easy enough to take it doesn't weigh very much or take up much room so it's kind of nice to just have multiple bag for multiple purposes because this is the bag I'm going to use for the most part during the day I didn't take this one last time I don't remember and I wished I had this one was kind of cumbersome I couldn't get like everything in it that I wanted to and it just kind of was annoying kind of strapped to my the front of my chest all the time and this one is just quite handy. I will say I am on a lookout for a new bag like this one. This one is really old and tattered. I got this in Kauai and it's kind of seen better days. I have washed it but it I just haven't found one that look at this strap. It's so amazing and it cross, goes over the, my body like little cross body but then it has like multiple pouches inside and then little pockets on the outside but like I don't want to put my phone in this one now because it's ripped and it's just kind of getting tattered. It, it serves its purpose and I will take it but I am always on a lookout for a new one speaking of new one I got that one last year on the big island that will be our beach bag that will be where we put like our our goggles and our sun hat and our towels and whatnot and that one will get used when we go to the beach or even like walking down to the pool then I can just put that one back into the hotel or the car when we're not using it it doesn't necessarily have like a ton of valuables in it it'll just have like our regular beach stuff and I also have this cute little sun hat I got on the big island last year as well I really loved um, having this and I actually might try and find one with a little bit 
bit more color. The only reason why I didn't get one with more color last year was, was because Chelsea and Ashley wanted to get one and they chose the one with more color on it and I didn't want to have one to match them because they don't like that. So that's all that's on this side right here because I have a big makeup bag that needs to fit as well. I'll show you the makeup bag here in just a second. I'll just show you really quick. We do have a bag of sunscreen and that blue lizard sunscreen is the coral reef safe sunscreen and then we have the other ones for like the pool or walking around kind of being sightseeing and and uh and hiking and whatnot so just a reminder you need to have coral reef safe sunscreen it needs to be mineral sunscreen and there's ingredients that you need to make sure that they don't have in it just google it you'll find all the ones that you need to get this one the blue lizard one does not make you stark white <laughs> we learned last year we got the wrong one and it just did not soak into our skin we were all whitey pasty all the time and it was really hard to wash off we all hated it we did it because that's what you have to do when you go in the ocean but it was it was miserable being so white and cakey it just wasn't fun so the blue lizard one I've already tested it you'll see it in tomorrow's video it's really really good and I'm, I'm looking forward to using that one instead so let me show you the makeup bag now all right here is the makeup bag and you'll see in tomorrow's video Jason makes fun of me for having this quilted bag but he needs to be okay with it because I like to be organized this is the brand I just got it off Amazon I don't care about the brand I just left that on there so you guys could see the brand if you want to search for it I will try and link them down below if I can remember um, I just love that it has so many different components Apartment, put my makeup so I'm just gonna do a little tour for you I am NOT gonna do my makeup a ton but I will do my eyes and maybe put on a little bronzer um, this is like a kind of does give you a glow it's just my lotion in general but it does a little tanning glow so that's kind of nice and then in this main pouch it's on my bathroom product I love this little Hawaiian scrunchie I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull my back hair back into one little ponytail but I do love having this one and maybe it'll be long enough that I can do that with my little twisty back um, I cut my hair since going last time so so I might have to get another scrunchie or get two matching scrunchies this time. Maybe we'll have to do that. But then inside my bag, I just kind of have like all of my bathroom basics. I have face wipes. I have my Waikiki Beach Coconut Lotion. I actually have another lotion right here just because sometimes you want to smell a little bit different. Then I have a travel conditioner here and um, just a few items of makeup. Again, I'm not going to do a ton of makeup. There's a conditioner right there. Oh, this one was, what was this one? Body wash. That's a body wash. And then a little travel size deodorant right there then I have look at that isn't that so cute so in this little case I just have my medicine thyroid medication in I didn't want to take the big container so I just found my old mint tan and that works out great then if you can see here in the back there's little pouches on the sides I have my razor and then I have my lotion and I have a setting spray then down in this pocket I have my q-tips then in this front pouch I just have a little face mask that I can do Then I have a bunch of ponytails then I also have some first aid stuff I do have some bug spray and some band-aids just because you never know this little zipper here in the middle I do have my foundation but I put that on my eyes to set them in order to put some eyeshadow on do you have a shirt Sharpie. I'm not sure sometimes you just need a sharpie then I have my mascara and my little Michael Kors bought this on Maui last year when we went with the girls no I bought that last year when I went with Jason so I just wanted a little travel size Michael Kors perfume to wear there's also a little razor in there for my face and little eyeshadow again not very much makeup but just kind of the basic so it keeps going then on the back side woo, isn't that so fun I don't have very many brushes I know that looks like a lot to some people it's really not very many um, but I wanted to have them just in case if the weather kind of chills out you know at night then it's sometimes nice to do makeup at night but for the most part it's kind of too hot it's gonna be 87 degrees or so so usually too hot to do a full face but I have my fan in case I get hot while I'm doing my makeup um, and then here I have some makeup palettes just for my eyes these are my summer ones I love to have some extra color on my eyes when I'm doing them look at that I mean if that doesn't scream Hawaii I don't know what does and then this one here obvious hanging in Hawaii so we got to take this guy all right so the best part about this is that I can actually hang it in the bathroom if I need to but we should have a lot of counter space I can just set it on the counter um, but then I have full access to it and I can turn it around and get to all of the different things that I need to get ready okay so the makeup bag will go there and then that is my stuff and yes I do have more stuff but I also have all the beach stuff and I didn't show you one more thing in that bag of sunscreen shampoo I take my own I'm not gonna buy it well when we're there when I go with the girls I buy uh, like the suave shampoo and conditioner because we go through a ton but I'm just gonna take mine and then I can bring home whatever I don't use that way I don't have to go through 10 different travel size and this is Jason's bag <laughs> Yes, I do have more stuff. I am you know, I like to pack stuff again. This is all our stuff 
that's my stuff. Yes, I have more clothes. I don't believe that he's done packing. I can't believe that this is all that he has. Regardless, I don't even think he's packed any of his workout clothes. I've been trying to like kind of sift through here and I literally only see swimsuits. I don't see any of his workout shorts. I don't, and that's, his, yeah, these are all swimsuits on that side. He has it all in a pout, but I don't see, yeah, those are regular shorts. So he has not even packed any of his sports. Oh, it's up there. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I'll go grab that here in a second. I was like, wait, what is he packing? So he's got all of his shirts, shorts, swim shorts in here. And then he got his hiking pack. Again, we take backpack to like have multi-use while we're there. He's gonna try and do a hike by himself, but then we all we are gonna do the Pipiwa Trail and hopefully the Kapalua Trail, or at least part of it. So we each wanna have our own little hiking pack. But as you can see, once this is all zipped up, that will fit on that side of the bag. And then I'll go show you what he has up here on the table and it'll fit on this side and I actually have more room on my bag just in case his stuff doesn't fit into his. We also have our outfits picked out for what we're gonna wear to the airport. I decided to go with this shirt here and my green short. I like to wear new clothes when I travel. I don't know, it just feels nice. So in this bag, he's got all of his socks. Looks like he overestimated on the socks. So we set a few out. He will need to add underwear though to that one as well. But then it looks like this is all of his workout stuff. We've also kind of been working out of our bags because we are working out every day now. And so it's like we take one shirt out, pair of underwear out, then wash it and then put it back in. So we're kind of still living out of our bags here for the next couple days until we go. But he's got all of his workout stuff packed in here and he's starting to learn that. I didn't tell him to do this, you guys. <laughs> He gives me a hard time, but he did one for his workout stuff and one for his sock and one for his shirts and his shorts. So, you know, he's learning. He's learning how to be organized. So I don't think this one will fit. I think that one will fit in there. And depending on how big this gets with his underwear, it may not fit all in his little carry-on bag, which is fine. We can combine. And then all of these bags are fine. We're gonna check one bag, carry that one on. I think it's like 30 or $40, but I might get a free one with our Hawaiian card. I, because that's what we booked our flights with, Hawaiian. Okay, so now let's go downstairs and I'm gonna show you. See, I thought he hadn't done his socks. So I put a little, <laughs> I don't need to do this. I put a little bag right there to remind him, hey, you might need socks. So I don't need to do that. That's an extra now, put that over there. But let's go downstairs and I will show you our carry-on bag. I actually kind of need to pack it a little bit more again because I'm still in the process of using everything I need to take. Let's go downstairs and I'll show you. All right, so I'm gonna hop up here on my little upper desk here. <laughs> this all has to go with me, but I still have two videos to edit, possibly three, until I can pack this up. Um, so I'm just charging it. I'm gonna edit today and tomorrow, and then hopefully I'll be able to pack that up. But again, it's kind of the process. I can't pack this up until I'm done with it. But it will go into one of these two bags. I haven't decided. This little bag gets really heavy for me to carry. So either I will put my laptop in his bag, he'll just carry two laptops, or I'll put it into mine, and my backpack has a little strap on the back where I can attach it to a suitcase. So I might put that on the carry-on so I don't actually have to carry this bag. It kind of gets heavy with all of my electronics in it. All right, so this is the lug bag. I got this one online. You can get them on Amazon. Let me see if you can see the little logo right there. L-U-G is the brand. I've turned a lot of you on to this brand because they're so fantastic. I love the little pouches right here on the top. I can like stick something in there if I need to. These little pockets have magnet. Close them so those are really handy as well. A lot of the time I will put like a chapstick ball into one of these pouches in order for me to just access it really quick um, while I'm on the plane. But then this front pouch right here again has a magnet close. That's where I put my phone and it's super easy to get to. So why does Dana have all the snacks in here? That's because I'm hiding them from Jason because <laughs> I bought these snacks like a week ago and I told Jason I was like I don't want to go to the store again and I need to get the snacks and have them ready to go. So he doesn't need these all for the plane. So we're going to separate them out. I'm going to pack like three fourths of them into our suitcases and then he will get a little baggie of it to put into his backpack because he does not need all of that. And again, same with my snack. I will only pack a few M&Ms to go on the plane, a little sweet after my salty. And then I will use these at night when I edit. I'm um, just have a little treat while I'm editing and then we won't have to buy expensive food when we're there. And as hard as I'm trying to be good, I actually haven't had chips in a very long time. We're talking weeks, if not a month. So I'm doing pretty good, but I can't take an airplane ride without Pringles. It's just not in me. I'm just gonna do it and we'll walk it off the next day. All right, so the other pouch that I add to my bag is this little, it's actually a shower caddy, but it works really good when I'm traveling because 
usually this everything gets kind of lost down into that big space so I just kind of put everything in here so not only is this for the plane but it's also like as we're traveling around I will take this bag and I'll put it into my beach bag and then it's can you know it's contained in here and will spill out um, and then if I don't want it at the beach I can just take that out and we can put other stuff in the beach bag so disinfectant wipes for the airplane always wash your seat they are doing better now after COVID inside COVID I don't know whatever you want to call it then these are my sunglasses that I take into the ocean they are prescription sunglasses but they're my oldest pair and I don't worry about them getting not damaged but like in the water but my other sunglasses the top can come off if you see my other glasses you'll understand the sunglass part pops off and I don't want to lose that in the ocean and then I also have face wipes because there's nothing that feels better than after the beach being able to <laughs> wipe your face with a face wipe it just it goes a long way so I always have those so I take meclizine with me I will use this for motion sickness often I will use it in the drive to the road to Hana I will do it use it for Haleakala and I will also use it if we happen to go on a boat I haven't booked anything I don't know if we're gonna be able to again we just barely booked this trip so I might not be able to like do anything else but I'm going to take that with me then I also just have regular old acetaminophen in case we get headaches or whatnot in the bag because this is going to be in my bag to go in and out for the beach if it if we're just going sightseeing or whatnot I just wanted to be able to have a face stick to put sunscreen on as well as some sanitizer all right this little cutie is my new electronic bag and it will go into my carry-on bag as well I always keep electronics with me I don't want ever want to have a chance of them getting separated from me or lost or stolen so I will keep these with me let me show you what this little bag is it's just a pencil pouch that I got the girls for back to school but I realized it worked really great for all of my electronics so in this little compartment, you can see that I can have SD cards in these little slots right here. And it's just easy for me to get to them as backup. Then I also have a backup battery for my GoPro. And then my GoPro stick is right here. And I have cords. This one needs to kind of get wrapped up and tucked away. But then that whole center section will be where my external hard drive goes and my power cord for my laptop and probably an extra phone charger can go in here for like the hotel. But then it's all contained in here. There's actually another little pocket right back here I believe I have my microphone in case we go live stay tuned we will probably go live and that's back there in case I can get that to work there's a pouch here in the front as well I have two extra pairs of headphones just in case my airpods don't work or if I don't want to have to use airpods for my laptop I can just leave these headphones attached to that and then edit when I have those so that Jason can sleep then I have extra microphones those are the stickers that attach the microphone muff to my camera then the back side of this I am not using very much just because I, I don't need to I don't even need to have a pen I well actually I might put one pen in here because you have to do the like the Hawaii like agriculture card when you arrive and then when you leave um, so I might just put one pen in there so I always have one but I don't really need to utilize the back side of this but it's quite handy and little and it just will slot right down here into my bag because I don't need access to it it can just lay flat right on the bottom of this bag again look look at this bag you guys let me get it in the light look at the mouth on that sucker and then it closes up with the zip I mean come on having this at your feet I will I will like you know rave this bag for airplanes having access like this to your bag right at your feet and then you just close it turn it on its side and slide it to the seat ahead of you you guys this bag is amazing so then I can just have this little bag it goes right there and then I will put a little baggie of M&Ms it'll probably go in like one of these little pouches right here I could just put it into this pouch and then I have a chapstick bottle will go there and my phone will go here and then when I'm not wanting to carry it again I can just slide this little Little thing over the, the little handle of my carry-on it also has a backpack it has two straps right here that pull out you want to pull it put it on like a backpack but I tend to just use this strap right here which this is separate I got this strap separate than the one it came with this is again just from Amazon all right so Jason's bag isn't as packed as mine is mainly because he's still using his laptop for work and his power cords and his phone cords and whatnot he does have his pillow I don't tend to use pillows on like this on planes I get kind of claustrophobic with things around my neck um, so I don't really take one of those but I do have our GoPro here in his bag um, just because I needed to have a little bit more space in mine and then he will also have our drone this sucker is a little heavy so the drone will be in there and then his laptop will be in there and his snacks. 
All right, so I, like I said, we aren't completely packed up. We're doing the best we can. I can't film the full packed up, all ready to go bags and then still have to edit. <laughs> so just understand it's all gonna go into the bags. We're also going to put water bottles and they're gonna be empty, but we will have water bottles in our bags. So we have that for the plane ride as well as hiking, being in the car, all that kind of stuff. That is it, you guys. We are almost ready to go. We're gonna have so much fun. So make sure you click that little subscribe button and the notification bell that will tell you not only when we have videos post, which hopefully will be every day. I'm gonna try and get ones out every single day of the week because we film every day that we're there. You get extra video. We also will be going live. Hopefully I've already told you when we're going live. So you'll wanna make sure you get those notifications because it'll be a little pop-up um, notification. I'll try and do a photo or something and tell you exactly what time we're gonna go live. We are gonna try and do that in the morning Hawaii time and the evening Hawaii time so that no matter what time zone you're in, you can try and hit one of those live because we've had people before like, oh, I was at work, I, I couldn't like see your live. So hopefully we, we kind of hit a couple different times. Stay tuned, let's go to Maui. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you